15 News at 6 starts now. Coming up on LEX 18 News at 6. A man is shot in Lexington's Wood Hill neighborhood. Wait till you hear what the fight may have been over. The story's on the way. A shooting in Jessamine County. Officers are searching for a gunman in an investigation that now reaches into Lexington. And a year after a traffic nightmare at Kentucky Speedway, major changes are unveiled. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 6. There's been an arrest in an afternoon shooting on Lexington's southeast side. That's the LEX 18 big story at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us at 6. I'm Kevin Christopher. Nancy Cox has the night off. To the big story in just a moment, first we have some breaking news in Scott County. That's where a bad motorcycle wreck on I-64 is. It's just across the Fayette County line. And Bianca Spinoza is on the phone with the details. Bianca? Hey, Kevin. We just got here to the scene. There's several fire trucks up here. We know this is a, a motorcycle accident. The injuries are life-threatening. Uh, we're not quite sure of the condition of the driver at this point, but the accident happened at mile marker 68, uh, and traffic is backed up for several miles behind the interstate. It's completely blocked off on Interstate 64 West. Uh, traffic is being diverted uh, to exit 69 in Scott County. You can see pictures of the back up there. But again, we just got to the scene out here. Uh, that we saw an ambulance leaving not long ago. But again, the fire trucks here, and we're told that uh, this motorcycle accident the driver life-threatening injuries. Um, coincidentally, tomorrow, state police in Frankfurt are holding a press conference to address a spike in a fatal motorcycle accident. So, again, a bad situation here on the interstate. For now, we're covering the news live in Scott County from the LA Station Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. And now back to the big story. New developments in the city's latest shooting investigation. We've learned who the victim and the suspect are. That shooting happened this afternoon on Osage Court in Wood Hill. It left a man with a gunshot wound to the leg. Lee Searcy joins us live from near the scene with more in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 6. Well, Kevin, the shooting happened just before 1 o'clock today, and within the hour, Lexington police nabbed their suspect. Take a look. LAX 18 cameras were rolling when police tracked down the suspect near the shooting scene. Police say the two got into a fight, and the 18-year-old victim, Dante Howard, was shot in the leg. Howard managed to run to a friend's home and collapsed at the door. She called police. That's when an air and ground search began. Friends of the victim tell us that he knew the shooter, the accused shooter, Demarcus Jones, and word on the street is the two got in a fight over a cell phone. Very childish over cell phone stuff. I don't know. It's just something like a proud thing. I really don't understand. Don't get it. They shouldn't have been even playing with any guns or shooting at each other. It just don't make sense. It's something I'm going to tell you. And when we were out here first covering the story, police were gathering evidence in, on Osage Court, the area you see behind me. A neighborhood kid walked up and said, ma'am, look what I found. Inside his hand was a bullet casing. We contacted Lexington police, and sure enough, they say it matched the casings in this shooting investigation. Again, the suspect is charged with wanton endangerment, assault first, along with some other charges. He's booked in the Fayette County Jail. We are covering the news live in Lexington from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. A developing scene in Jessamine County. Police say some sort of domestic dispute carrying over from last night led to a shooting. It happened on Burr Oak Road. Then the victim headed to a home on nearby Chinkapin Drive. Courtney Fisher joins us now with all the details. Kevin, deputies say two people were leaving the Burr Oak Road neighborhood when someone fired shots at their truck. No one was hit by the gunfire, but glass shattered and cut one man's face. His relative in the passenger seat was not hurt. The two drove back to the victim's house. Deputies had police tape up there around 2 this afternoon investigating. They're still looking for who fired the shots. Deputies believe this afternoon's incident had something to do with a fight last night and were told a family member drove up from Georgia to settle that dispute. Then over in Lexington, about an hour later, authorities blocked the entrance to this gas station on Ironworks Pike. They confirmed they were searching for a suspect and a pickup truck driven by the shooter. At this point, we have no description on what that truck looks like. 
Canines were out as well as a helicopter that circled above the horse park area. No arrests have been made at this point. No word on how many people police are looking for. Kevin? We'll keep you posted. Thanks, Courtney. The Kentucky Supreme Court has struck down an appeal from the man convicted of gunning down a co-worker at Leestown Middle School. Brian McGuire argued five points to the state high court. All were struck down. The custodian was sentenced to 20 years in prison for the shooting death of fellow custodian Danny Donato in 2009. Donato suffered from at least 12 gunshot wounds. McGuire says he was under extreme emotional distress at the time. Now, meteorologist Lindsay Schwarzwalder and your LEX 18 storm tracker forecast. Well, today was day three in a row of 90 plus degree temperatures across the area. Now we're going to start to get a little bit of a break from that intense heat and the humidity as showers and storms are expected to move into the bluegrass later on this evening. So far, though, we are dry on the Max Track Live. Still uh, looking at a pretty sunny scene at our BCTC Cooper campus, the weather bug camera. This is a live shot. Partly cloudy skies, pretty much the norm across central and eastern Kentucky at this hour. But notice we have a line of thunderstorms extending from parts of Indiana down into southern Illinois that is pushing into our area. And that'll bring us the chance for some scattered showers and storms later on tonight. Still holding at 90 degrees and it's 6 o'clock. The only saving grace from that is a breeze out of the west-southwest at 13 miles per hour. We've now dropped to 89 in Frankfurt. We're still at 90 in both Somerset, London, 88 in Jackson. Off the Mesonet, 89 in Cynthiana, likewise in Carlisle and Moorhead, 91 in Boonville and 87 in McKee. As we head through the overnight hours tonight, 68 for the overnight low, still on the muggy side. Increasing threat for showers and storms. That will continue into early Friday, but we do get a bit of a relief as far as temperatures are concerned heading into the upcoming weekend. Lindsay sitting in for our chief meteorologist, Bill Mech, tonight. Thanks, Lindsay. Some bad news for the Kentucky mining industry. Officials with Arch Coal Company say about 750 people will be laid off in Kentucky, Virginia, and West Virginia coal fields. 600 of those job losses will be in Kentucky. The St. Louis based company says its subsidiaries will close two mining complexes in Kentucky, one in West Virginia. The layoffs are effective beginning August 20th. Laid off employees can apply for vacant positions at Arch, but there's no guarantee they'll be chosen. The layoffs are a result of utilities switching to alternate fuels. For information, log on to our website, lex18.com. We do have some good news. A company announced today it's going to open its first state of the art production operation in the state, meaning new jobs. Black Mountain Doors and Patriarch Partners plans to create 50 to 70 new jobs for Mount Sterling and the surrounding areas. The company makes doors using a metal forming process, laser welding, and finishes with a higher grade paint process. They're also known for their easy 30 minute tilt in place doors, fire doors, and storm guard doors. I am counting on you to help me create that fairy tale of free, basically bringing back a company that has an 80 year history, doors that are in the White House, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, in the Four Season hotels around the country, and in doing so, putting people back to work in this city and in this country. Production starts later this year. Some called it a disaster. Traffic to last year's first NASCAR Sprint Cup race at the Kentucky Speedway in Sparta was anything but smooth. Will history repeat itself in a little more than a week when they try it again? LEX 18's Adam Baker reports from Gallatin County. This is the infield at the Kentucky Speedway. It will look a lot different next weekend, but race officials say whatever comes, this time around, they're better prepared. After the traffic nightmare of 2011, track officials and race fans are hoping this year for a green flag kind of day. This year, I, I guarantee you, will we'll be better than last year. Without a doubt. Kentucky State Police unveiled their plans today at the track. By the numbers, the Speedway will have six lanes going to the track. That's three more than last year. There are three new entrances, 20,000 more parking spaces, and 300 parking attendants will be on staff, more than double the amount last year. But our team is committed to getting this thing right. And we will. New road signs will be uncovered next week that will direct drivers to tune their radios to an AM station with instant updates. 
and this color-coded parking map will be online for fans to review ahead of time. Race officials believe if parking is easier, traffic will be smoother and race day will stay on track. We'll continue to build each year upon the lessons we learn to make this plan better every year and hopefully uh, make the race day experience for the people coming better. And race officials remind you, despite all the improvements, it will still be important to be patient. Covering the news at the Kentucky Speedway from the LEXET Mobile Newsroom, now back to you. The Quaker State 400 is set for Saturday, June 30th. Officials are following ticket sales to get an idea where traffic will be coming from so they can adjust plans accordingly. And to help pedestrians exit this year, vehicles will be held for 30 minutes after the race. I want to get you up to date on a story we told you about the top of the newscast. That motorcycle wreck in Scott County in the westbound lanes of I-64. We've just been told that a person died in that motorcycle crash. We'll have much more about that coming up tonight on Evening Edition at 7. Homeless since that deadly tornado outbreak back in March. Tonight, an eastern Kentucky police officer will have a new place to lay his head. That story's next on LEX 18 News at 6. Now, during Toyota's summer sales drive, get a great comes with a Toyota Care two-year maintenance plan. Find over 30 Toyota offers available now at buyatoyota.com. LEX 18 MaxTrack Doppler HD in partnership with Kentucky's Mega Millions. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 6. Those deadly tornadoes back in March left a police officer and his family homeless. Like much of West Liberty, their home was leveled. But as Jeff Allen shows us today, that officer's family finally has a new place to call home. Yeah, it feels great. I'm just glad to have, you know, some permanence. Permanence. That's something Tim Smedley's family lost back on March 2nd. I pretty much knew immediately, I mean, that, that my home was gone because it was right behind the police department uh, on Riverside Drive. I was in the police department right after we came out back. I mean, it was pretty apparent that, uh, you know, there was nothing. Their house was leveled by the deadly tornado. Luckily, the rest of his family was not there during the storm. It was frustrating just to try to find, you know, try to get word to them that I was okay and just to make sure they were okay. We knew that nobody was home. I knew that, that my family was okay, and then uh, we just started searching. Searching for people who needed help. I started searching vehicles on Main Street. Um, then... Uh, after we satisfied there was nobody uh, there that needed assistance, we started uh, going house to house. Fast forward to today, more than three months later, the Smedley family is moving in. And it'll be nice to actually, you know, uh, like I said, hang things on the walls and get, you know, get some kind of normalcy back. Moving in and moving on in a place his family can now call home. So now here we can start to get back to normal. Covering the news in Morgan County, Jeff Allen, LEX 18 News. And while Smedley may be back at a permanent home, he's still going to work in a trailer in the West Liberty Police Department's temporary home. Lindsay has your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast right after this. It's that wonderful time of year again. It's time to make a stand. A lemonade stand for the Salvation Army's Lemonade Days. It's a chance for kids to help homeless kids in the bluegrass. Log on to LemonadeDays.org and register your stand today. And join us on Friday, June 29th for the Lemonade Days Marathon at these Lexington Walmart stores. Presented by McBrayer, McGinnis, Leslie, and Kirkland PLLC. And by LEX18. Register your stand today at LemonadeDays.org. Maybe it's the unmatched luxury and capability, the fuel economy, and Grand Cherokee styling or the improved V6 performance and fuel efficiency. If you've been looking to feel the freedom of a new Jeep vehicle, there's no reason to hold back. You have the power, and where you'll find it is within. During the tent event, well-qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo 4x4 for $289 a month. What happened to us? We used to care about important things. Things like bacon. We used to take our time with it, smoke it, cut it thick, keep it through the winter, put it in our pockets and climb over mountains with it. It was a great time to be alive. And so it is again. Arby's is building a monument to bacon. The mouth craving five strip ultimate BLT. All aboard!
Kentucky One Health is here. When you're known for providing the best care, the only way to make it better is to invest in ways to reach even more people. We are Kentucky One Health. Better care is here. Celebrate your independence from high prices with huge savings during the Great American Sales Event at Paul Miller. New 2012 Ford Fusion X. Power without compromise. Only $16,899. New 2012 Ford Escape XLS. So much fun. So little fuel. Only $18,299. New 2012 Ford F-150 Crew Cab. J.D. Power's 2012 Truck of the Year. Only $25,299. 0% financing for 60 months on select models. The Great American Sales Event at Paul Miller Ford. Point, click, drive. PaulMillerOnline.com. Now, meteorologist Lindsay Schwarzwalder and your LEX 18 Storm Tracker forecast. If you like it hot, this was the week for you. But if you didn't, well, we are going to be seeing some relief as we head into the upcoming weekend, but especially as we head into next week. Also, some good news as we have the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into tonight. For the month of June overall, we're about an inch and a half in deficit as far as rain is concerned. And we're not going to solve that problem with the showers and thunderstorms that are in the forecast for tonight, as they are expected to be very scattered. Some folks may miss out on it entirely, but at least it's better than nothing. Max Track Live Doppler, unfortunately, still dry. It's partly cloudy on the outside, but we are looking at an increase of clouds as we work through the evening hours. Still on the muggy and mild side, holding at 75 degrees still by the 11 o'clock hour. 70 early tomorrow morning with scattered showers and thunderstorms through Friday morning. And then they'll start to taper off right around lunchtime tomorrow. Daytime highs tomorrow expected to get right around 85 degrees. So slightly cooler than what we were today. And those humidity levels will also be knocked down just a little bit as well. St. Joseph's Hospital weather bug camera still more sunshine than clouds as we look toward the downtown Lexington area. But we are expecting an increase of clouds. Notice the shower and th thunderstorm activity moving through middle Indiana down into southern Illinois. That's the front that's going to be bringing us our chance for showers and storms later on this evening. We've now dropped a degree 89 at the Bluegrass Airport as of the 6 o'clock hour. The breeze, though, out of the west at 14 may be helping with it just slightly. 90 was our official high for today. Tomorrow we'll make it into the mid 80s, but then by Saturday we're back to the upper 80s. But humidity levels on Saturday will be on the low to moderate side, so it's not going to feel all that oppressive. The cold front's still off to the west. That'll be crossing the state as we work through the overnight hours. Again, bringing the chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms. The shower and storm threat is going to diminish as we head into Friday afternoon. A pretty pronounced ridge of high pressure then is going to dominate our weather for the upcoming weekend, lending us a spectacular Saturday. Barely a cloud in the sky for Saturday. And then on Sunday, we'll see an increase of some clouds and some thunderstorms possible by the time we head into Sunday night. Temperatures as of 6 o'clock, 89 degrees in Frankfurt, 91 still in Monticello, and 90 in London. Your forecast for tonight, 68 for the overnight low. Spotty showers and thunderstorms still on the mild and muggy side. Tomorrow, thunderstorms possible early, and we'll top out right around 85. Saturday, a gorgeous day, 87, mostly sunny. Perfect pool weather, perfect weather just to be outside. We do pick up a few more clouds on Sunday, and by late in the day Sunday, there will be the chance for a few more scattered thunderstorms. That will continue into Monday as well. And if you look at the eight day, you see three days of rain on there, but none of those look to be a real large rainmakers. Everything is pretty much scattered, unfortunately. Maybe next week, huh? Because we need more than that. Uh, yes, we do. Thanks, Lindsay. A third basketball player this offseason transfers from Louisville. And Randall Cobb's back in Lexington in part to get started on finishing up his degree. And you'll hear from Randall next in LAX 18 Sports. Green's Toyota's 48-hour cyber sales event is going on now. Get special cyber prices this Friday and Saturday only at Green's Toyota of Lexington.com. Print it, bring it, buy it. Everything is on sale. New, used, service, parts. Green's 48-hour cyber sales event this Friday and Saturday. Need a fresh idea for dinner? Your Kroger meat expert is here every day from 3 to 7 p.m. to help you choose great recipes like this and make you the hero of your next meal. It all starts with a visit to your Kroger meat and seafood department. 
And if a roast sounds good, Kroger has a boneless chuck roast for just $3.49 a pound. Or fire up the grill for some USDA Choice T-Bone Steaks. Only $6.99 a pound in the value pack. Get more value for the way you live at Kroger. Here in Eastern Kentucky, hard work is a way of life. And when it comes to jobs, Hal Rogers works hard for us. A leader in Congress, Hal Rogers is fighting to increase domestic energy production, support small business, cut government regulations, so we can grow our economy and create good jobs. Call today and tell Hal Rogers, keep fighting for Kentucky jobs and a better future for our families. Hi, welcome to Nissan's Get What You Want event. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Well, this oh. one's... Oh, this one over here's got keyless entry, iKey. Uh-huh, keyless ignition. Love it. Love the deal. And the technology I know. Bluetooth, Navi, backup camera, everything I want. It's Nissan's Get What You Want sales event. Save up to $2,500 on Rogue or up to $2,500 on Frontier. Event ends July 2nd. Visit ChooseNissan.com. Hurry in to your local Nissan dealer. Kind of just sell themselves. <laughs> It's the summer of Subway, and we're celebrating this event by offering two favorite subs for $2 all June long. Talk about a game changer. Now that's something we can all be thankful for. Made fresh for just $2. That's right. The regular six-inch meatball marinara or cold-cut combo for $2 each. Can you believe it? Warm up, hot deal. The mom delicious meatball marinara and crowd favorite cold-cut combo. Just $2 each for a six-inch sub. June only. Celebrate the summer of Subway. All month long, any time of day. Subway. Eat fresh. I'm Brett Melrose of Fayette Heating and Air. This is our promise to you. We'll be there for you 24-7, 365 days a year with no overtime fees, ever. We proudly serve Central Kentucky with a team of trained professionals dedicated to serving you. Fayette Heating and Air is a felony-free and drug-free workplace that guarantees you the best work every time. Others promise, we deliver. Fayette Heating and Air, the biggest, the best, and less expensive than the rest. Green's Toyota's 48-hour cyber sales event is going on now. Get special cyber prices this Friday and Saturday only at Green's Toyota of Lexington.com. Print it, bring it, buy it. Everything is on sale. New, used, service, parts. Green's 48-hour cyber sales event this Friday and Saturday. There are a countless number of camps taking place this summer. Today and tomorrow, one's going on at Bryan Station, being held by former Wildcat and current Denver Broncos scout, Anthony Champ Kelly. But Champ Camp isn't just about the X's and O's. And he had a special guest today, too. Kyle Scott has more from camp. There you go. Okay. There you go. Good work. Me and my wife started um, Heart Power, Inc. Um, a couple of years ago for the simple purpose of, of supporting youth and their family, providing them with positive, encouraging influences. And I think this camp allows us to do that. More than 60 people volunteer at Champ Camp. Most are either coaches, players, or former players. Somebody invested in all of us as young kids, so it's our duty to, to invest back and give back to the kids in the community. Some of the stuff that we teach is, is finishing, you know, working hard because we want people to finish. We want these kids to learn how to finish in life. This is the second year in a row for the Champ Camp here in Lexington, and although Champ is based in Denver now, he hopes to continue this tradition for years to come and continue to bring former Kentucky players back to Lexington, like the Wesley Woodyards and the Jacob Tammies. This year, he brought back Green Bay Packer Randall Cobb. Just living out the dream and, and competing, I think that's the, the two main things I want them to understand is how important competition is and uh, how pushing against yourself and pushing against other people makes everybody better. Although Cobb is living out his dream in the NFL, he still has some unfinished business at Kentucky. That was a goal I set for myself was to graduate. You know, uh, regardless of when that is, I'm going to graduate. Um, it may be two years from now, maybe six years from now, but I'm going to get it done. And become the first in his immediate family to earn a degree. Covering the champ camp at Bryan Station, I'm Kyle Scott, LEX 18 Sports. Louisville forward Rakeem Buckles becomes the third Cardinal this offseason to transfer out of Louisville. Buckles is heading to Florida International to play for Richard Patino. Buckles was expected to miss the upcoming season while recovering from his second torn ACL. He averaged four points and four rebounds a game last year before getting hurt again. The good times keep rolling for the state champion Woodford County baseball team. They got to meet Governor Steve Bashir at the state capitol today in Frankfurt. The Yellow Jackets took home their first title in school history a couple weeks ago. They also had a parade last week. Two years ago, Glenn Faulkner was Joker Phillips' prize recruit, a four-star safety who was supposed to make an immediate impact. 
Faulkner saw plenty of time on special teams last year, and he says he's proud of that, but the Cats need him on defense. Glenn says he's ready this year to make good on the hype that came with him. Um, I'm just in real well. I'm learning a lot. I've been studying a lot of film and stuff, going over the playbook and stuff. I'm learning a lot. I mean, I got to live up to the expectations, so I'm out here working hard, trying to, you know, get better every day. An Army All-American he was, four stars coming in. Rivals even had him as the top player in Illinois that year, so he needs to be one of those guys that gets it done. Let's hope, huh? Yeah. Thanks, MJ. Be right back. LEX 18's True Blue Fan Report is brought to you by Kentucky's Powerball and Mega Millions. The Georgetown tent sale is no longer, but Toyota on Nicholasville's big tent sale is happening right now. Get 0% financing for up to 60 months, zero down delivers, and every new Toyota comes with two years of maintenance. We didn't get to be the number one Toyota dealership by saying no. 0% financing, zero down delivers, and as always, TMMK employees are welcome. Hurry, because for three days only, the big tent sale is at Toyota! Sausage. Well played. Man, I love bacon. Look at all those sausages. Just rubbing that bacon right in my face. So sausage -y. You want to switch? Red in my mind. <laughs> oh, no. That was stupid. Now you don't have to decide. Get sausage, egg, and gravy and bacon, egg, and cheddar breakfast wraps. Two for two seventy nine. dollars New at Hardee's. It's the Serta Truckload Mattress Savings Event going on right now. Serta trucks are rolling in and the savings are stacking up. And now, for a limited time, take the Dare to Compare Comfort Challenge and try a perfect sleeper in your home for 90 days. Plus, experience iComfort Sleep System by Serta, the only mattress featuring Serta's revolutionary cool action gel memory foam. Hurry, the Serta Truckload Mattress Event ends soon. Burke Furniture, your Serta headquarters on Richmond Road behind Hardee's. Get your storm tracker forecast on 92.9 WLXX, Lexington's number one for country. At Batteries Plus, we see a lot of people who are really excited about the warmer weather. It's probably because they get to bring out all their fun toys, jet skis, motorcycles, ATVs, boats, even riding mowers, and every one of them needs a great battery. You need a great battery? Now that the weather's gotten warmer, don't sweat it. We got it. We began with the RX. See the Lexus store of Lexington. NBC Primetime Lineup is brought to you by Kentucky's Powerball and Mega Millions. Why choose? Play both. A little warm, but another perfect night downtown for Thursday Night Live. That will be packed this evening, and now we start to head into the weekend. What's in store for us? Now? Well, we are looking at the chance for some scattered showers and storms as we head into tonight. Much needed rain, considering we have about an inch and a half deficit since just the beginning of the month. Uh, those showers and storms are expected to continue into early tomorrow. The weekend looking fantastic. It is going to be hot, but those lower to hum moderate humidity levels will feel a lot nicer on the outside. 70s early next week. Scatter one of those showers at my house, please. Yes, <laughs> we'll try. Thanks for watching. NBC Nightly News is coming up next. We'll see you again at 7 on Evening Edition and on LAX 18 News at 11. For the latest news, sports, and your storm tracker forecast, log on to LAX18.com. Coverage you can count on. On the broadcast tonight, to the jury.